to each and every one around the world. So um, a lot has already been said about uh, with regards to uh, machine learning and AI. Then uh, I'm continuing with the a minute. Okay. So I'll be continuing with uh, RS and left wing, which is also uh, an, uh, a content quality uh, tool that was developed by the machine learning team back in 2015. So I'll first start with RS, why it has been deprecated, then move on, on to why uh, we are uh, moving most of the models or all the models from RS onto left wing at large. Okay. So first of all, with people who are new to uh, machine learning tools with regards to content quality, improving content quality on a Wikimedia project at large, RS is basically a tool, a machine learning tool that helps to improve the content quality on Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects at large. It helps uh, most of the contributors to be able to detect vandalism, to be able to make uh, identify good edits uh, quality uh, articles and to be able to also uh, manage their workflows at large within the most of the Wikimedia projects. So why RS? It helps most contributors to be able to streamline their workflows in terms of being able to aggregate certain kind of uh, articles that also help them to be able to know the kind of articles to be able to also work on or contribute to. Um, but, regards to uh, new editors and also helps experienced editors to be able to also identify new editors who are contributing to most of the Wikimedia projects then also be able to guide them, provide some form of guidance and uh, some form of assistance to them in terms of they contributing to most of the Wikimedia uh, projects, especially English Wikipedia. And uh, it's also community uh, support driven, which means that it's open to most of the Wikimedia community uh, as a whole, that also helps people to be able to uh, communicate and uh, work on discussions together, share ideas, then know how best to be able to improve the two. Okay, so RS is basically used by uh, editors, community managers, and also researchers around the world, especially we, uh, researchers within the Wikimedia ecosystem. It is also a crowdsourcing content uh, for uh, Wikimedia projects such as Wiki, uh, Wikishnary and Wikidata at large. Then uh, when was RS created? As earlier, I stated that it was created in the year 2015 by the machine uh, learning team. And uh, through year by year, it has been able to uh, improve the quality of uh, articles or contents within most of the Wikimedia uh, um, projects that has been using RS since 2015. Okay. So uh, if there are any questions at the moment, if there isn't any question, I can be able to also move on. Okay. So um, a lot has been said already with regards to model names, uh, models at large, how these models are being built to be able to also assist um, uh, users to be able to identify articles and uh, contents to be able to also improve upon them. So some of the model names, uh, uh, vandalism classifier, which is one of the uh, models that is able to also help uh, contributors who normally do use RS at large to be able to identify uh, contents that involve vandalism and help them to be able to resolve such van uh, contents that uh, involve vandalism. It also helps us to be able to classify or be able to identify articles that stand in good faith or contributors who stand who contribute to articles in good faith. And uh, if there are certain, certain uh, minor uh, issues pertaining to the R contributions too, we can be able to improve upon the R. Uh, content at large, then article quality due to that is able to also help us to know the accuracy of contents that are being placed on uh, most of the Wikimedia uh, projects, especially English Wikipedia. So with regards to assessing RS, although it's, although it's been uh, deprecated, but uh, from time to time, I'll also take you through the process of being able to assess a uh, left wing at large, how RS is also being moved. Uh, the models on RS is being moved to uh, uh, left wing at large. So RS is available online for all and has its own uh, website, which has been moved onto uh, left wing. So at the moment, you can find RS on rs 
wikimedia.org and uh, it can be accessed either through the web page or any through uh, through the media wiki api at large so why rs so um machine learning is basically a tool it's simply a machine learning uh why left uh, left wing sorry uh, left wing is basically a, also a machine learning tool that has been designed to improve upon uh, how RS does work. Although still under development, there are certain features that needs to be developed in order to be able to also uh, uh, improve upon the content uh, quality re related to most uh, Wikimedia projects at large and uh, to be able to also host um, multiple deployments in different languages and also help uh, different languages to be able to also identify uh, classifications that they do want to work on. So with regards to um, the differences between RS and uh, left wing, left wing basically is a generic model as it was stated earlier within the first session before my session. Uh, so it being a generic model, it basically also helps us <coughs> It basically also helps us in terms of uh, article revision as well with regards to uh, RS, but it being a generic model, it basically hosts uh, multiple uh, models and helps us to be able to uh, expand the production, uh, expand the production rights in terms of uh, 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 generating uh, models that can be host, uh, uh, host a lot of models that can be able to also help us in terms of uh, uh, generating uh, scores in different uh, wikis at large with regards to languages as well. So uh, with left wing, it being able to host models as a microservices too, it uh, can be able to also help us to uh, aggregate more multiple scores or uh, many scores as compared to RS. And uh, with regards to article revisions too, it can be able to enhance article revisions. So the content quality wise of article revisions uh, improves from time to time with regards to using left wing. So it also helps us in terms of uh, faster deployments. And um, uh, currently RS does has a pre-catch, which basically helps us to be able to uh, get updated with regards to revisions that have been made on uh, most recent changes. But uh, with the functionality regards, regarding to a left wing, uh, from time to time, that functionality too will be developed in order to be able to also uh, contain that. So why? Why left, uh, why RS has been changed from, uh, from, why the changes from RS to left wing? So with RS, it will become much more accurate in terms of uh, contributing to uh, Wikimedia project at large in terms of it accuracy, in terms of uh, using its models to provide uh, article quality, using its models to be able to identify vandalism, using its models to be able to identify coordinated edits and uh, uh, using multiple models within other uh, Wiki projects at large. So left wing is basically more uh, uh, will be more sustainable, has the potential of being more sustainable in terms of uh, going through the process of uh, being able to update multiple models uh, that have been built year by year, but it being using uh, microservices will, uh, 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 will give it elasticity and will be much more sustainable in terms of using uh, left wing. So with regards to uh, accuracy, with, uh, for left wing, Steady has already uh, indicated that uh, left wing was able to identify 80% of uh, quality revisions that were being made, while RS was able to correctly identify 70% of high quality uh, revisions as compared to 80% uh, of low quality revisions for uh, RS at large. So in terms of scalability, um, RS can also be used in uh, a number of ways in which uh, revisions being done on uh, left wing can also be used in a number of ways in which uh, revisions being done on RS are not able to meet. Since Wikipedia keeps growing and technology keeps evolving, uh, within the technological infrastructure of uh, Wikimedia to still needs to grow and uh, there needs to be improvements in terms of uh, 
uh, technological infrastructure at large. That's why uh, we've decided uh, to be able to move onto left wing to be able to uh, improve upon uh, content quality within most of the Wikimedia projects. So, as stated with uh, sustainability, it also helps us to be able to update new data in order to be able to remain accurate. That was the job that RS was basically doing. So as time went on to um, coming up with a uh, left wing, that will make it much more sim uh, simpler since uh, it being in a human in a loop system whereby both humans and uh, boss that were can be able to blend together in, in terms of uh, uh, supervised uh, machine learning and also uh, active learning, combine, blending these two together to be able to uh, make, uh, uh, to be able to rely on data, uh, to rely less on data in order to be able to improve upon content based on this kind of blend between active learning and machine, uh, supervised machine learning, it will make it much more easier. It wouldn't only solely rely on uh, uh, new data to be able to be updated all the time, which is much more costive too. And, uh, uh, takes a, a lot of time to be able to deploy such solutions. So, um, my call for this particular session is to be able to raise the expectations of Wikipedia content quality and also to be able to improve upon content quality so far. And uh, we also do look forward for you guys being able to also uh, follow the update and process procedures that are being implemented in order to be able to also help and contribute in terms of improving content quality within most of the Wikimedia wikis that we do find ourselves in. And as time goes on, as models are being generated in different languages, from a good uh, faith uh, model to uh, other uh, different classifiers and uh, models to can be able to also help us in terms of knowing how best we can be able to also improve upon our contents on most of our Wikimedia wikis. Now, uh, to be able to find most of the resources that I can, I use for this particular session, uh, you can be able to visit the RS website to be able to uh, go through the whole procedure then understand how this two is serving a great purpose within the Wikimedia ecosystem. Aside that, too, you can also visit the RS where, uh, page on um, Wikitech, same for uh, left wing, then uh, if you want to try or have a feel of how the RS2 is currently working, then you can be able to also try the special page on uh, recent changes on uh, English Wikipedia, or if you are already an administrator on any of the wikis uh, or on English Wikipedia, so you can just feel free then uh, try to go through the process of downloading and installing Hago, then know how best to be able to use uh, these tools to be able to improve upon content quality on most of our Wikimedia wikis. Okay, thank you. If there are any questions, you can feel free and ask. Okay, so um, with regards to uh, the models that I was talking about, currently RS was holding these kind of models that have been moved to a left wing and uh, the machine learning team is currently also looking forward to be able to add more models in terms of uh, uh, left wing being able to hold uh, uh, a lot, a number of uh, uh, a large uh, model base in terms of uh, having multiple models in uh, different languages that can be able to also help improve upon uh, most of the Wikimedia wikis at large. So we have the article quality model type, we have the draft model type, the damage gen model type, which as we can see already, some of them are already in different uh, language wikis. Then we have the good faith model uh, type that we can see in different uh, uh, la uh, language wikis at large. Then we have uh, a model type for reverted articles that uh, can be reverted, having the reverted button to be able to revert contents that you, uh, contributors do feel that it does not, does not meet the criteria needs to be reverted or improved upon. Same for article topic, then draft topic at large. Okay.
Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, so um, for the last phase, Okay, so with regards to um, having having ours on our special on uh, most of the uh, we, uh, special wiki pages, um, we can be able to find that these models are being uh, implemented at the back of uh, most of our Wikimedia wikis at large, and based on that, uh, based on the model types that we do also find we can be able to identify that as we are able to take any of the, uh, select any of the models that we do want to find uh, revisions related to these kind of models, then uh, we can be able to identify models that are related to such, uh, and we can be able to also find revisions that are related to such models. And based on these, uh, it can be able to also help us to review or be able to uh, go through some of the contents that are being updated or that are being published within our, uh, our uh, special revisions or revisions that we do find in our wikis. So um, as this tool is currently de being deprecated, um, I do know that from uh, once the whole tool is being, well, once the whole left wing tool is being uh, deployed, it will make it much more easier for people to be able to also um, use the left wing two at large. Okay. Okay. So with a template like this, this template can be reviewed based on the, uh, the contributions that the person made. We can be able to also review such con uh, contribution then know uh, if the contribution is of good faith, if it's not on good faith, is if it's been identified manually as a vandalism content, then we can be able to also select the vandalism option to be able to also uh, uh, rate the content or the updates or the revision that has been made as a vandalism. If we want to roll it back based on your user rights that you do already have, you can be able to also roll it back. Same for all the uh, user rights that you also do have using RS. Okay, so I would like to end here and uh, have more time for yourselves to prepare for other sessions if there aren't any other questions at large. Thank you all very much for joining this session.